Thanks a lot, Madame, and uh, thanks to Gordon for this great hospitality. My last visit on the Dubrovnik Forum was 10 years ago. The name was Croatian Forum in that period. <laughs> and it, that period, Putin sent a message, I believe, to the EU that EU will be complete in the moment when Russia Federation became the part of the European soil. And now you can see the change. <laughs> or probably will be the part of the same soil, but not in our type of the values or something like it. But I don't want to miss one the other opportunity. My hometown, Kotor and Dubrovnik, they are twin cities. Elder brother is Kotor, younger brother Dubrovnik. Dubrovnik was success, more successful city in the last few centuries. But it's not just an emotional issue. I would just try to give you how the logic in foreign policy of two small cities is applicable even now for you and for us, very shortly. Dubrovnik, when the Ottoman Empire overcame the Balkans, decided to pay the Haraj, to pay the price to, to the Ottoman Empire, to get rights to, for free trade, for free, for free sea, Ottoman sea, and survive on that way a few centuries. Even has given the, the best, for the best family sons, like some kind of guarantees in Istanbul. Kotor decided, quite different, very close, very similar towns, decided to go in coalition or an alliance with the Venice to build up the fleet and to fight all the time. Let's push, push Kotor on the open sea, on the bigger sea. But Kotor achieved a higher destination, got more allies and see more world. And that's why way of the thinking even in the EU. EU decided, like Dubrovnik, to pay the Haraj to the Russian Empire to get raw materials, to get the other things, and to close little bit eyes on the, on the values, like Dubrovnik in that period. It was diplomacy. Now it's high, high time for the Kotrovay of the politics. Kotrovay of the politics related with, the, uh, with, not now, with the other empire. With the other empire. That's the answer now for the new challenges and for the new time. We don't have now alternative. But what is the experience of the Montenegro with the Russian Empire? We celebrated 311 years of official diplomatic relationship with the Russian Empire, like small state. And what is the message even now very similar? Ask me usually, what is your experience with the Russia Federation now? I told them the same, the same one last 310 years, precisely. They use Montenegro like small knife small knife in the stomach of Ottoman Empire. Now they use the others, like little big sword in the stomach of Euro-Atlantic community. Balkans, again the Balkans. And there's the same pattern of Russian Federation or Russian Empire, that just matter of the title, not of way of ruling, now in the three, last 300 years. Using always even the same institutions for that. In previous period, diplomacy, money, gunpowder for Montenegrins. Now, not yet gunpowders, but they are using the other proxies. Orthodox Church, like political institutions, security intelligence institutions without accountability, and using the corruption related with the autocrats, because the autocrats, the real natural allies of the, this type of imperial policy of the of the Russian, Russian, Russian Federation. Be caution. Balkans is not only one target. That Spartan is, uh, is alive all around us, all around us. And uh, I'll finish very shortly with this next message. On, on the Balkans, you can see easy what is diagnosis. If you like democracy, you are going on the West. If you like power, Power means money and long-lasting ruling. We are going on the east. But what is additionally threatened for all of us, now we have two easts, not only one. Next one is even much bigger, probably, and more, and more danger. Thanks a lot.